Morning. Friday morning. House is waking up. Chickens are out. Goats are up. Everybody's happy. Kids are screaming. So what I have here is a fairly interesting, and I think I'm coming into my own on these modeling exercises. Like I said, I'm trying to keep things to the maths. Prior to the point on paper, I'm just piping lines and um, pulling some lofts and doing some spheres on points. I'm mirroring that, pulling it together, and pulling a geometry in. Uh, that's all what you know. most people, or at least I did when I started, was interested in, was making these shapes and making these forms. But I want you to chase back how they're made. Uh, in a sense, I've got a finished object here in technical. I have one in uh, um, uh, pen, one in artistic, and one in rendered mode, or actually I think just shaded. I'm going to hide that object, and you're going to see the other one parametrically. And of course, that one I've had a, a lot of control of. Um, and those are spheres. Uh, as I click over here, you've got your objects, you've got your mirrored objects. They've all been brought together as this form into the image. I'll bring it down here so you can see it. Um, pretty nice form there. I like that one a lot. Let's take a close up of that. Very nice. Now, if you consider what this is, a flexible mesh, springs between points, extracting poles, uh, you know, I'm not getting into the engineering or the making or fabrication of this as an artist currently. I'm just designing some things that I like. So you've got the mirrored object paired against that one. I'm looking at the top view now. Uh, pretty interesting forms inspired by the spheres, the pipelines, and the lofted form between it. How are those spheres made? Well, they're made from points. And those points are drawn from lines. And those lines are the start and end points of a point system here that is remapped from a line system that was here that came from a domain of two other sets of points, these and these, which are fully parametric. And you get into the maths, which I love to do, pull it back through a range and domain, except I didn't do a range on this. I actually decided to take the domain that I constructed, play with the segments of that domain, and find the start and end of those segments. And that's the real shift in how I work this script. I will say, stay to your maths, stay to your sets, and stay to your vectors, and learn everything you can about everything within those tool sets. And you will gain complete and total control, in my opinion, prior to any plugins as to what is most important for building geometries. Uh, let's go back to the final form here. Let's go back to the parameters that influence it. Here is one that plays off of the, uh, as we move it, plays off the mass of the trig functions, which is really what makes the wings so beautiful and I think technically elegant. And then I've got an ability to kind of flap those wings. I've set a number slider that seems to work for me on that above and below and of course we're looking at top view right now so it might be more interesting to go back in and see all the views and you can see the one at the bottom as I start and expand in the right view that wing up in the air and expand it and you can see that within the front view as well and you certainly can see it in the perspective the other ones are controlling uh, number uh, counts uh, in the main end so you can actually change the shape uh, start with something simple if you were going to fabricate make sure your equipment works Make sure you have a budget for what you're setting up to do, size and scale, and you're working with the right companies to engineer it, or you're working in the right studio to engineer it for yourself. Um, great little short uh, script to play with uh, potentially awesome forms. And I know a lot of people do freeform modeling. I've got a friend that I met, uh, Jacob Berman in town. It's pretty awesome what he does with fabrics and stiffening those and using resins. Um, maybe he's a little younger than me. Uh, he's doing some pretty awesome casting, single pour, uh, pours, which I think a couple of us have taken interest in in our lives. But uh, I'm at the stage of really trying to get um, this down to be on the design and front end of what I may end up doing. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. It is under four minutes. Thank you.